it's really the most special when the alums come back. We'll have alums come back that are, have their names on the All-American board and they come and watch you play. And Definitely the most special playing at home because you're here, you're comfortable. I mean, this is where you practice and it's really special to be contributing to that great history that Princeton has. Here at Princeton we have like a set aside time for practice so that helps a lot. I mean you're in the library before that, you might be there after that but during this period of time you know like mentally I'm here for squash, I gotta put them 100% and that's all I do. That's more or less like an hour or an hour and a half of drilling and towards the end we usually do some fitness, it might be on the bikes, on the court, um, there are a lot of different ways to do it but the coaches generally try to mix it up. It's great being able to forget everything that happened at in classes that day and just being able to come down here and see your friends and just have a time like two hours that are blocked out where you really don't have to think about school if you don't want to and you can just come down and focus on on your game you know and helping your teammates get better. Sean brings a lot of energy and youth to this team I mean he's only like 28 or 29 it's good to have him here because um, he brings something different in the sense that he's very technical so on court he gets on with us and he is criticizing our technique and suggesting ways to improve. So Sean is really hands on. He's really like in your face about like getting things done and about how you're going to improve and he knows the way you're going to, each player is going to improve. So if you buy into that and if you trust him, I mean, for me it's been working out pretty well so I'm really glad he's here. Having your coach there, I've often used Gail as kind of like a venting resource. I'll be like, Gail, like, this happened today and um, she'll kind of just sometimes sit there or and listen to me <laughs> or she'll give me advice. Fortunately, the nature of squash is a very like physically demanding game, so you can of often get racket work and fitness work in in the same hour. On match days, the away team usually gets the courts right before the match and we get it for like 45 minutes from 12.30 to 1.15 and then from there we head to the locker room to just relax. Some people take showers to like refresh themselves up, some people are just stretching. We'll have our little hit, we'll probably hit for like 45 minutes or so. Then we've got about an hour to kill, so we'll go back and we'll do goal setting. We do that as a team in the locker room, so we'll go do that. We do an individual and a team goal. And before, like 15 minutes before the match, we meet together as a team of our coaches and basically just talk about what we need to focus on. In the buckle, okay? Get yourself in the right frame of mind to, to have a good performance today, okay? Whether you start well or you start badly, it's relevant. On your, on your, on your court, you keep going through the process, All right? Remember again, guys, you're in control of your own destiny from now on out to the end of the season, All right? And a 9 0 win today will go a long way to getting us there. Not that, whatever the score might be, that's fine. But you give it your best shot. Try and get the best result you possibly can. And then about 15 minutes before 11, when we're supposedly going to go on and go do intros, we'll um, line up as a team in order. And then we walk on at about 10.55 and you do intros. Generally, I like to tend to just focus on my individual match because I find like, especially as a junior now, I've, I've been used to the college scene. As a freshman, I was sort of like overwhelmed by it. I'll be cheering on my teammates and not like focusing on my individual match. 
So this year I found that like it really helps to just like separate yourself from the emotion that's going on. So like maybe 30 minutes before I match I'll just be on my own, listening to music and just like zoning in what I have to do. Going into Saturday, I knew it was going to be tough. I played Blake last year and we had a, a long match, a tough match. So I knew this year was going to be equally tough. And especially going in, knowing that we had Yale the next day, we sort of had to like block that out and I tried my best to just block out that match and just take one match at a time. So going into that, I was really focused on the match at hand, um, tried to be aggressive right from the start and be really in control of the center area, the tee. And I think, I think it worked pretty well. You've got to be mentally and physically ready to go on and play. So it's a very quick turnaround to um, go from that to focusing completely on your match and getting yourself psyched up. So I'll probably go down and warm up on the bikes and try and get into my own space down there and warm up on the bike, put my music in, try and isolate myself from that match that just happened, try and forget what happened and use it as motivation to bring into my match. I tried to step up as much as I could and volley and keep the rallies going pretty long to um, tire my opponent out as much as possible and uh, I think that it worked out pretty well in the end. It's special because like squash is really like an individual sport. When you come to college it's all about um, the team. So you can win your match or you can play badly but there are eight other guys out there competing with you. And that's, that's the best part of it for me because I know on any given day you're not playing for yourself, you're not out there just fighting for like your personal win but it's a bigger picture than that and that's that's the best part of it.